Hello and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial, but this is going to be a different Minecraft tutorial because I will be showing you how to split up your Minecraft skin into different um, parts like this. This lesson we will be doing the head. So as you can see here, I split up the head into the back, the top, um, the right side of the head, the left side of the head, and the face obviously. Um, so this is going to be in Photoshop so what you need to do is get your Minecraft skin uh, but before we do that we basically need to go to the desktop and create a new folder uh, simply by right clicking and going to new folder then we just want to type in Minecraft skin. Open up that folder. And then inside of that, you want to create another folder. This one called PSD. And we also need to create another folder called PNG. Now, these are the different formats you're going to be using. And why did that not enter the thing there we go. so we have the PNG and I'm just going to disable my touchpad um, so um, we have these two folders so the Photoshop files will be in here in the PSD folder and the um, the actual photos or the image files are going to be in the PNG section so um, Let's get started by going to the internet and downloading um, a Minecraft skin. I'm just going to be using the default Minecraft skin. So I'm on the Minecraft website and I've logged in and now I'm going to go to profile. Obviously you know I had to download the default skin so I'm just going to skip through that. Okay so I'm on the default Minecraft skin just go to save image as uh, and then we can want to save it into that Minecraft skin folder we created. Um, I put mine on the desktop for easy use or access. Just put it straight into the Minecraft skin folder. Don't put it into the PSD or PNG. Just go to save. It's downloaded. We can close Google Chrome. And now what we're going to want to do is start up Photoshop. Okay, so Photoshop has launched. And now we're going to go to File. Open. And then we're just going to open up that Minecraft skin. Those are the previous ones I did. So go to the desktop or wherever you put the folder. Uh, Minecraft skin and open up the skin and then we're going to want to zoom all the way in to the head zoom by going control plus or you can go to view zoom in so if we just zoom out slightly zoom in a bit more so about 1600 percent roughly um, so we can see all this head here, don't worry about the body, arms or legs, we, that will be in other tutorial. Um, so now what you're going to want to do is you want to go to the rectangular marquee tool and you're going to want to select the front of the face. Now it should be able to, um, if you've got like a, a Minecraft skin with different colours, um, then it will be a lot easier to uh, distinguish the different parts of the body. So as you can see here, we have a, like uh, some skin here and we have some hair here. This indicates that this square here is obviously one of the sides, the same on the other side. But here is all hair, but we can use this guide here on at the top here to find where that square is. So I'm just going to click one corner and Photoshop will automatically snap it to the nearest pixel like that. So we have the head selected, and you're going to go to Edit, Copy, and then go to File, New. 
Then if it hasn't already, uh, select the preset as clipboard. So it's going to create an 8 by 8 pixels, um, which is basically uh, the size of that head. It has to be pixels. Don't worry about the transparency. You can just change it to white if you want. Um, and click OK. Now it's really, really small, but we get to edit paste to paste in our face. Now, um, if it was just to go, uh, if I was just to adjust the image size, basically, you can see that the head is really blurred. It's quite blurry. It hasn't. Uh, we've lost the quality. So I'm just going to undo that. And to keep it um, the same quality, just go to image, image size. And then you want to make it 32 by 32 pixels. And down here, you should have a little drop-down menu. That should be the default of by cubic best for smooth graphics. You want to. Uh, click the arrow and select nearest neighbor preserve hard, hard edges which is basically going to take all the pixels and it's going to do some clever calculations to determine the same quality click OK and here we can see our head is no longer blurred it's perfectly fine so if I can zoom in now as you see even if we zoom in it still isn't blurred because each time you zoom in or make it bigger it's doing some clever calculations which is taking the pixels and basically multiplying multiplying them but is applying the same um, level of quality so that's the face done here just go to file save as and um, we want to go to the PSD folder and call it um, front underscore head PSD. Yep, just click OK if that comes up. And now we've saved it as a PSD, but we also want to save it as a PNG. And you'll see why um, you'd want to do it as a PNG in a minute. Now, the reason why we've got a PSD and a PNG, um, the, inter the interlace also needs to be uh, none. But the reason why we have a PSD and PNG is because if you're making Minecraft animations in Cinema 4D, you would want to use the Mine, um, the Photoshop, sorry, PSD, uh, because because we set it to uh, the nearest neighbor. It's uh, no matter what size cube you have in Cinema 4D, it's always going to be the same quality. Uh, but if you just want to split it up and create your own skins, which I will be doing a tutorial on, then you would use the PNG. Um, you can still use the PSD, but it's just the PNG is handy to have. So that's the face done. And then to do the side of the head, uh, just uh, same thing again. Just click and hold until you selected the side of the head again using the outside of the other squares as a um, guide edit copy then go to file new um, clipboard ok edit paste image image size 32 by 32 nearest neighbor OK. File, save as. Go to the PSD folder. Uh, side underscore head underscore right. Now it looks like it will be our left, but if you was looking, if you was the real person, it would be on the right side of your head. So save. OK. File, save as go to the PNG folder select PNG as the format go to side underscore head underscore right dot PNG save interlace none OK then we have the first two sides of our head completed and I'm just going to speed up the rest of the process